You could have the best video on the planet, but if the thumbnail is boring, no one clicks. And if no one clicks, all that hard work just disappears into the void. Here's exactly how to avoid this problem. Step 1. Define the click idea. Ask yourself what promise your video is making. If your video is about how I made $1,000 in 30 days, your thumbnail should make that promise obvious without even needing words. Then think about the main keyword or two that your video is targeting, such as mid-journey tutorial. Next, look at the top ranking videos for your topic to spot patterns. You might see a lot of close-up faces showing shock, bright objects that pop against the background, or bold numbers like $1,000 or 10x in giant text. These patterns are there for a reason. They work. Now decide what angle you want to take. Are you going for a big reaction face, a single object like a laptop or graph, a split screen showing before and after, or something mysterious that makes people curious? Step 2. Know the specs. The size you want is 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's the standard 16x9 format YouTube uses. When you export, make sure the final file is under 2 megabytes so it loads fast. Use the JPG format because it keeps the quality good while staying lightweight. Pay attention to the composition. Make your main subject huge. You want it to be recognizable even on a tiny phone screen. Use colors that contrast with each other so the image pops out from the background. If you want text, keep it to two to four words max so it's still readable when small. And make sure there's some clean space in the image where you can place text without covering important details. Step 3. Set up Midjourney. If you haven't used Midjourney before, you'll need a free Discord account. Join the Midjourney Discord server, then either send prompts directly to the Midjourney bot or use one of the newbies channels where everyone else is generating images. The first thing you should do is type slash settings and turn on remix mode. This lets you tweak and reroll prompts later without starting completely over. Also, turn on raw style, which gives you cleaner, less stylized results that work better for thumbnails. Then set your aspect ratio to 16 by 9 so the image is already the right shape and you don't have to crop it later. Leave some empty space if you plan to add text. Step 4. Prompt frameworks for thumbs. Copy-paste. Here are three simple prompt styles you can use right away. If you want a reaction face, ask for a close-up portrait of a person or avatar showing a big emotion like shock, excitement, or curiosity. If your video is about a product or tool, focus on a single object. If your video is showing a transformation, go for a before and after split. Step 5. Generate, upscale, and frame for text. Once you have your first grid of results, pick the one that instantly catches your eye. Don't overthink it. If it makes you pause, it will probably make viewers pause too. Use the U buttons to upscale your favorite. If it's close but not quite right, try the V buttons for variations until you get something you like. If you realize you need more empty space for text, use zoom out at 1.5x or 2x or pan left or right. This creates more room without making the subject look stretched or weird. Step 6. Fix small issues with Vary. Region. AI images sometimes have small mistakes like extra fingers, strange objects in the background, or weird details. You can fix these without starting over by using Vary Region. Select the area you want to change and tell Midjourney what you want fixed. You can say, remove extra hand or make background solid blue, and it will regenerate just that part. Step 7. Export from Midjourney. When you're happy with the result, open the upscaled image in your browser and download the full-size version as PNG or JPG. Now it's time to polish it up in an editor. If you want a free Photoshop-style experience, use Photopea. 
Step 8. A. Finish in Photopea. Free Photoshop Style. Open a new canvas at 1920 by 1080 and drag in your image. Position your subject using the rule of thirds, not dead center, but slightly off for a more dynamic look. If you're adding text, leave some space for it. Use the Select menu to isolate the subject and put it on its own layer. Add a stroke or glow effect around it to make it pop from the background. You'll see this in a lot of popular thumbnails because it creates separation and keeps the subject from blending into the background. For the background, add a gradient or vignette to control where the viewer's eye goes. If you're putting text over the image, blur the area behind the text slightly so it's easier to read. Do a quick round of adjustments to make everything pop. Boost the contrast just enough to make the image vibrant without looking fake. Slightly raise the saturation if the colors look dull. For text, pick bold fonts like Anton, Impact, Bebas Noya, or League Spartan and keep it short. Add stroke and a subtle shadow so the text stays readable. Then export the file as JPG, around 80 to 85% quality, so it stays under the 2 megabyte limit, but still looks good. Step 8 B Finish in Canva Fast Template Flow. If you prefer a faster option, you can do the editing step in Canva. Create a custom size of 1280 by 720. Upload your mid-journey image and tweak contrast and clarity just a bit. Canva also has duotone filters that can give the background a more stylized look. Add your text with an outline or shadow for better visibility. If you need a cutout but don't have Canva Pro, just do the background removal in Photopea and upload it to Canva. When you're done, export as JPG and make sure it stays under two megabytes. Step nine, check legibility. Before you upload, check how the thumbnail looks small. Zoom out until it's about the size it would look on a phone. Can you still tell what's happening? Can you read the text in one second? If not, simplify. A thumbnail should communicate one big idea and one clear emotion instantly. Step 10, upload and light. A B iteration. Once you're happy, upload it to YouTube Studio with your video. Watch your click-through rate for the next 24 to 48 hours. If your video is getting impressions but no clicks, swap in a different thumbnail, maybe try a brighter color, a tighter crop, or even no text. Small changes can sometimes double your click rate. The important thing is to keep your title and thumbnail working together so the viewer gets exactly what they expect when they click. What do you think of Midjourney? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, check the description for some helpful resources that I've linked, and don't forget to like and subscribe.